wait for the commander's return. I don't see any soldiers here. Only pirates. They must be running the whole island. Have mercy. You want mercy? Ah! Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? It doesn't matter who she is to me. Maybe not. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Why do you need so much Thrakmi? I have a city to secure and people to protect. I have no interest in going to war. I just want to make sure the war doesn't come to us. Here, take your Thrakmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need, how long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling, my purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. 
She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Hippocrates Clinic. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order. Prostrate himself before the gods and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patience. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. Back away from the boy, slowly. Who dares threaten the priestess of Ira? Me. Now, step back. It seems the gods wish me to grant you and your master another chance. Very well. Tell Hippocrates that if he doesn't make a public show of respect to the gods, I will raise an army of believers against him. If the doctor can't think of a suitable offering, his head will do. Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master, Hippocrates, of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I need to meet Hippocrates. Is he in Argolis, at least? Yes, but he's gone southeast of Hera's watch to help the sick and injured. Is this his workshop? It's Hippocrates' clinic. Here we study healing, offer treatments, and provide care to anyone who asks. Why not work with the priests in the sanctuary of Asclepios? It's what this region is known for, right? The priests try their best, but their methods are stuck in the past. Hippocrates is researching new cures and treatments. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. What kind of equipment? Just medical necessities. Knives and gut for sutures, bandages. Oh, and uh, an enema bag for clearing the bowels. That had better be properly wrapped. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? My services? Don't come free. Here, take this. Though perhaps Hippocrates can teach you something about helping those in need when you speak with him. How will I know who I'm looking for? Head southeast of Hera's watch, near the cave of Pan. He'll be standing before a long line of sick people. You'll know him by his, um, bald spot. Though, I wouldn't mention it. So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? Come on.
I thought they were exaggerating when they said people from all around came to see Hippocrates. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. Huh. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. It's been crowded there since the war began. And with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? Of course I did. I'm a Mystios. Ungenerous, but honest at least. What can I call you, Mystios? Alexios of Sparta. What did you come here for, Alexios of Sparta? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who passed through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. According to Sostratos, you don't like people mentioning your... You know. My what? Your hair. Or lack of it. Yes. Yes. Make your jokes while walking around like one of Phidias' sculptures come to life. Where should I look for your notes? Fort Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffer terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago, with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Ah. Let's go! Hippocrates' notes are well guarded. Why? The mighty Tyrians, built by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Probably not. What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry. They were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. There isn't enough time. I need you at Hippocrates' camp. Now. <clears throat> Maybe the punch was a bit hasty, but I couldn't wait forever. Neither could Hippocrates. There's still a chance. Did you find my notes? Not quite. Will this do? Who is this? Hippocrates. I I'm sorry, your notes were destroyed, but I have them all in my head. Then it is your duty to help me save this man's life. Oh. He'll live. I wish I could say the same for my patient. What patient? Your mysterious friend attacked me while I was in the middle of an operation. It was the only way to get him here in time. While you did save my patient, the other did not deserve their fate. At least we saved one soul today. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now.
that he is. I need to talk to him. Come on. The sanctuary of Asclepius, god of medicine. I'd rather trust a physician than a god, you feel me? If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. My eagle will tear out your tongue, priest. Forgive me, not the tongue. Not like me, then. Chrysis threatened anyone who speaks to the eagle bearer. Did she? Tell me about the woman and her baby, and I won't drown you in your bathhouse. How's that for a threat? Please, no! There is already a corpse in there. What are you talking about? Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. These snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Orios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath and get rid of the snakes. House free of snakes. I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance. Well? Well what? Uh, I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithen, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> My lucky snakes. Ugh. At least I got a name. Midon. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira 
guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. My mother came through here. And unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood, you'll tell me what you know. Please, it's Chrysis. She said that anyone who talks to the Eagle Bearer will be paying a visit to Hades. Then don't talk. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then, quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way, over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong-willed. And uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved. But there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So... When her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got them. What, what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. 
I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. That old priest hiding by the tree. Yeah! The tree of Heraclius. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where's that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Please. May Asclepius spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. I'm looking for information about the Spartan woman who came through here. I was warned about an eagle bearer. A ruthless killer, he was called. Do you think it's wise to deny this ruthless killer the information he desires? <sighs> Healing the sick is my path. Help me get the attention of the gods, and I tell you what I can. What are you asking, exactly? Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats. All have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepius to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Coryphum, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. 
If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. Let's go, Phobos. The white bull? Am I too late? Better stay hidden. Doesn't look like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It will have to do. <sighs> Not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bull, they can come get it themselves. <laughs> Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just the heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of Arolis. If I die, people will starve. I you my husband was killed by the sickness i have two small children who will take care of them if i die i am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing <coughs> it's okay give the sacrifice to them you did this you choose whose prayers get heard by the gods pray for this woman the world has too many orphans already God bless you, Mistios. My children, thank you. 
You'll pay for this. It will be done. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being... tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him. Not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman. Was her name Rini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No? He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. Sacred? <laughs> right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my sister here, you and your priests left her for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could.
I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky she survived as long as she did. That, that fall was devastating. <laughs> my baby! My baby! <laughs> Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Chrissy should have had your tongue cut out. I want answers from someone who was actually there that night. Chrissy took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? So now you want to hear what I have to say. Don't test me. Speak. There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. Hush, my child. May Ira bless our sacred family. So Chrysis is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maliatas. There's the statue of Apollo. And the altar. Chrissy. A warning. Must be getting close. will die here! Healing seems to run in your bloodline, almighty oh eagle bearer. Don't you dare speak of my family! I still remember the night your mother brought me my child. The sad, pathetic thing, crying in the rain. Had I known then that Mirini had two children. But here you are. My family is complete. You let my mother believe her baby was dead. But she was. Oh, how your mother wept when that little heart stopped beating. But then I took care of her placed her on this very altar, screamed for the gods to spare her life, and they listened. What did you do with my sister? I saved her life by teaching her to suffer, to know pain so well that she would learn to welcome it like an old friend. And now she will teach all of the Greek world to know that pain. You tortured her? She was just a baby! I taught her to survive. This world is cruel. It demands strength or death. So I gave her strength. Where did my mother go that night? That weakling crawled to the hills of Corinth. The monger was supposed to deliver her back to me, but she can't hide forever. She will give us more children. I'll run my spear through your throat for the pain you've caused. <laughs> this world is pain. I gave the most strength to cope. Your mother was a weakling who whined to the gods like a pig on an altar. 
I am more a mother to her child than she will ever be. I can be a mother to you too, Eagle Bearer. This goes beyond my family. You and your cult are going to destroy the Greek world. You bring nothing but suffering. You talk of suffering, and yet you come drenched in blood and threaten my life. You are a killer, just like your sister. Here, let me show you. My child! This baby is yours? She was dying. Chrysis had me bring a gift to Ira so that he might be protected. Chrysis lit the temple on fire with the boy and me inside. Chrysis is a servant of Ira. She does what needs to be done. What needs to be done? She left your baby to burn alive. And you saved him. Gods bless you, Eagle Bearer. Sleep now, sweet child. Mater is here. I'm not sure saving that baby was the right thing to do. Chrysis' reign of terror must end. If what Chrysis said was true, Mirini believes my sister died long ago. I can't let Chrysis walk free. I'll kill that Malakas. Calm down. Tell me what happened. Raiders in the forest. My husband, he tried to fight them off. Did you say the forest? I thought the forests of Argos are safe. They stole our food, our horse. They wanted to take me. All I can hear is their awful laughing. Such a horrible noise. Laughing? And the whole group ambushed you for one horse? Yes. If your husband is facing the bandits alone, you won't have long to live. Please! I have a child! You have to help us! I will find your husband and the bandits. You saved that child, I knew. Can't help but do the right thing, can you? Chrysis? You killed this man just to set a trap? It's an honor to give your life to Ira's greatest priestess. He died willingly. With him gone, I have room for one more on my council. It isn't too late to join us. This stops now, Chrysis! Today you die for what you did to my family! I will avenge my sister! Very well. If you wish to be an agent of chaos, if you wish to be a killer, then kill, child! Every last cultist has met my spear. You will be erased from history. I will erase you. This is for my mother and every family you destroyed. Biadi said the Atera here could help me find my mother. I should look around for Anthusa's whereabouts. I'm looking for Anthusa. Is she here? Wouldn't I like to know? 
Sunrise, sunset, I save my drachmi for the taste of the divine. The terra are hard to come by. So you haven't seen them? Not with the monger's army on the loose. The terra won't tolerate that. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be anyone for you, lamb. I'd search less than the Ethera. But do I ever know my way around the hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Ethera all work as one, on equal footing. But Anthusa's special. She talks, they listen. I haven't met any Hetera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the flesh. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise. Can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Hetera? Not in my prime anymore, am I, Miss Dios? By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. If the Hetera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them up on the hill. The Acrocorinth. By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. A temple on top of the Acrocorin. That's what I'm looking for. Try to stay out of sight. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. Time to head out and punish them. Behind you, Mistios! Here comes some more! Yeah! 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 Who are they? And why were they looking for the Etera? Uh, yeah. They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. Uh, the thieves are here, and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realize their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers men in Corinth. I'll keep my guard up. He craves money, Mistyos. Not only that, but power. Once he smells it on you, you're a gunner. So the monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money, and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood-hungry monsters what he is. So he's hunting the Hetera? Huh. For money? Exactly. Since the Etera bring in so much Drachmi, he wants everything they control. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. If you know of the Hetera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. 
They say she's everywhere, though I've never seen her. But the Edera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene, down the mountain. They meet clients there and then take them elsewhere in secret. Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. Watch will be vigilant here. So Alexios has finally found us. You know me. And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icaros? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! Phoebe! Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Antusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word, emissari. That's me. And now Alexios and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. There's a killer on the loose in a city with no morals to begin with. You can't just follow me around like in Kefaronia. The monger, the cyclops, I made it all the way here, didn't I? Uh, yes. You always find a way. We need to move inside, Alexios. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me, and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. To what do I owe your visit? Alcibiades told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway, long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. That's not the answer I'm looking for. It's the only one you'll get until I've bargained a proper exchange. I've become quite the businesswoman, after all. You better be telling the truth. Alexios can get really mad. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. If you say so... I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. A simple transaction, I assure you. As long as you deliver what I'm looking for, we won't have a problem. Negotiation always involves some compromise, you know. Compromise I can do, but I won't be cheated. Then we're in business. Now, you've heard of the monger? I heard about him after I killed his men. Seems he's famous in Corinth. For all the wrong reasons. His knife has shed much Corinthian blood. But that's just the way of commerce. The blood between us is bad. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street. Us included. He's been killing Hetera. Killing? We're smarter than that. But action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, Damalis and Irina, are suffering too. More monger trouble. I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find Damalis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophron's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo. Another Etera who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Has Damalis told you what's wrong? 
She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. All of it. We'll let Chaos take care of the rest. Why rob people who can't put two drachmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even the smuggling is a front. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired on show. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. I know many people who speak that language. Then the warehouse will be cinders. So you're here to help us, Mistios? You don't look like a monger spy. I'm more the in-your-face type. You have a monger problem, Damalis? I might. One of my regulars has... changed. He was a decent man once, but now... He's gone bad. Corinth seems to have a shortage of decent people. I need someone with muscle to figure out what's behind the change. Why he's different. He's gotten you scared. He asks me questions I don't know the answers to about our Drachmi. Where we keep money, what Anthusa invests in. As though we're Athenian aristocrats. Can't Anthusa intervene? I'm not naive. I won't expose the others to this. So we can go after them next? He might anyway. Sounds like he needs answers. Who was he before all this? Obsessive, but never threatening. He didn't stand out in symposiums until he had his Drachmi act for him. Well, something sure giving him courage now. I'll see what he has to say for himself. If he's not lurking around here, he'll be at his house. I want this to end today. It will. People tend to show their true selves to my spear, whether they like it or not. Good, you found me. Shh, what are you doing here? I heard the Mali's talking about her crazy client earlier, and I wanted to help. Fine, but you have to do as I say. No games. I know that already, because you never let me have any fun. I'm going to talk to Damalis' client, and see what he has to say. I've been here, spying, and I heard him mumbling to himself. He's weird. But maybe if I tell you what he said, it could help? Time to act. Listen closely. You sneak inside, and see what you can find in his house, while I distract him. Quiet like a mouse. Good. But if you get caught, run. Right out the door. We'll meet afterwards. Promise? I'm ready. Let's go. <clears throat> Do I know you? No. But I know you. If Miron sent you, tell him I was going to pay him back this very night. No one sent me. We need to talk. I know you're up to something. Something? Something could be anything. You have nothing on me. You're going to Thea's pig farm, and meeting some like-minded person there, I hear. Where did you hear that? You're wrong. Dead wrong. They owe you a deed to some land. What that land will be used for, I don't know. A spy? What else do you have on me? Cough it up! Dinocrates is his name, the man you're meeting. I know no one called Vinocrates. You almost had me there. What? Wait! <gasps> Thief! Thieves! Get out! Guards! Get them! I'll destroy this! You pay for that! Yeah. <laughs> 
Malice doesn't have to worry about her client now. That wasn't what she wanted you to do. I dealt with him, didn't I? Well, at least I could sneak in, okay? Look. What's this? A coin purse? His things aren't very nice, though. If he's rich, why have all that junk? He must have just gotten paid. I've seen that iron poker used before. He didn't have a fairness. Why does he have this? It's not used for fire. It's a weapon for torture. I saw someone use it in Fokis. Someone huge. Huge like the monger? Just like the monger. What does the letter say? It's mean. It says he'll get hurt if he keeps doing things wrong. I thought as much. And it says more. That he needs to bring the Malis to a place here in Corinth. There's directions. What do you think it is? Don't know. But I'll find out. Right behind you. Not this time. Go to the Malis and wait for me there. Oh, please. You've done enough for today. It could be dangerous. I'll come find you after. A place to bring the Malis. A prison? I should find out. <laughs> This area will be well defended. This must be the place described in the letter. Anybody home? I bought it. of hair smells familiar somehow Malaga what is this chains oil this can't be what I think it is gotcha all right you little shit who sent you What are you doing here? I wanted to help. Give her here. Leave Phoebe, now! Don't take another step. You're brave coming here. You want a whipping? The monger would love to take you on. He'd rot in the underworld for that. Prude, this is Corinthia. Anything goes in this sex, Andron, and the monger will be satiated. You're as sick as he is, worm. Whether they like it or not, any victim he likes gets his special treatment. I'll tell him you volunteer. You'll get my special treatment right now. I'll fucking kill you. Alexios. Your little friend beat you back. You made it. And fast. I know all the shortcuts now. I'm sorry, Alexios. Listen next time I tell you to do something. Okay. I promise it's for your own good. This time especially. What happened to you? I just left the monger's sex, Andron, if you can believe it. And it's where you were headed. No. It's true. Your client was being forced to take you there. And we found these. Wh 
What does this mean? It means the monger got to him. He does have his hand in everything. At least I know how to deal with him now that I know what he's after. You won't have to. I took care of him myself. I told Alexios he shouldn't have. <sighs> it had to come to this. Malaka, what a fool he was. The monger's the real fool. He'll find that out soon enough. By Aphrodite. Cleo better get back here soon. Maybe there's something a mercenary could do for you. How did you know I needed help? Anthusa told me you could use a hand. Cleo, one of our girls, didn't meet me for prayer this morning. She wasn't at home either. I'd go investigate, but I'm not sure what I could do on my own. She might have been taken. I asked around. One of our clients said he saw Cleo brought aboard the ship. The men were armed, so there was nothing he could do. I'd pay a lot of drachmi to get her back. Armed? Take me to the ship. We'll get Cleo back. Follow me. Who do you think took her? Wouldn't be the first time the Mongers men came after one of us. <laughs> Easy. Come on! But it wasn't always that way. We used to be safe. Until the monger. We're not sure why he came here, but Corinth is worse off because of him. the boat our client described. Please, get her back safely. Ready the oars! Commander! We've been waiting for you!
Commander, we've reached neutral waters. Pull up here. The ship had to be sunk. I'm sorry. What do you mean? They had Cleo! They were too aggressive. They would have sunk me if I didn't sink them first. How am I going to tell Antusa? Poor Cleo. <gasps> Come, proud one. place. Time to burn some cargo. You're on time. Go. You, please, help. You have given me a chance, friend. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse? I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Alexios. I'd thank you too if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too. An old Spartan tactic. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Atera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger. We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. 
So, Sparta has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Anthusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the monger would be flayed in the streets. Sparta wants him dealt with quietly. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the monger rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. Anthusa has given me her word, and I've given her mine. She's hired me to kill the monger. She did? She has something I need, and the monger is in my way. Keep your spear pointed his way, and Sparta will thank you. I was Spartan once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Aegetos as a child and left for dead. You're the son of General Nicolaus? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Merini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Merini. You knew Nicolaus. A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. Devoted to Sparta until the end. I'm sorry. You heard of his death? I did. A shame. You don't know anything about Merini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Merini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. Uh, they couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Dracidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. Your plan seemed to work. The monger thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Rasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I'm with you. We'll put on a show. Meet me and my girls there. The public has no idea what spectacle they're about to witness. Come on. Wanted the fucking show? I wanted you to see the face of every person you've wronged. I'll cover their faces with that precious blood of yours. Just like I should have done with Mirini. You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you 
bet your pretty face I will. Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off and send it to the cult as proof! You... you knew my mother? She was big fucking trouble, but I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Not if I bring her yours first. They won't have much to say after I smash your brains all over the stage. Get the fuck off my streets! They're not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! that steals your bread, the scourge that spoils your crops. Demos would be disappointed in you. <laughs> she is dead! It's time. Soak in your victory, then meet me somewhere quiet. I'll tell you all I know about your mother. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There is more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. It's no secret that I'll also benefit from his death. Let's talk. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps on the surface. But she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself. With one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband, a family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. 
Tichy owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Siren Song? It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Alexios. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Gordon's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Iron Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship, I'll be one step closer to finding her. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia. Alexios, you're back. Gotta run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at Aspasias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. Friends, I know you're angry. And you have the right to be. Why do they hide in houses? Aspasia. Oh, Alexios. You've returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother, her name, her ship. Alexios, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. The reason I came back to Athens was to talk to you about Mirini. Your mother will live to see tomorrow. My love won't live to see another sunset. You've had many sunsets with him. I've spent all my nights alone. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. My 
light. I told you. It's Alexios. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. I admit you don't quite look yourself. I don't feel like myself either. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. Its people... Aspasia? No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. The gods definitely aren't in Athens. I hardly recognize it here. It's like the Tartarus. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon. My greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Alexios. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Yere. Good. This looks like the place. Come on. Ella. By the gods, what happened here? This was savage. Done to send a message. I'm glad Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. Limos must be carrying through on her threat. Baby, 
No! Hey, stop! Mother of all, I greet you. Adios. Alexios! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Alexios! <sighs> I'm sorry, Phoebe. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with him. I agree, my friend, I agree. There you are, Alexios. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work. No, I... It's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe the child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away! You could have protected her! What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Alexios. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But did Phoebe? Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now, Pericles. <gasps> Go! Stay out of my way. is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never.
have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Stop! Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave. Don't let them go. It's all clear now. Let's go. We're going to stay, Alexios. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. The city has been taken. This isn't the Athens you used to know. That is why I must stay. We must begin again. <sighs> You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Alexios. I expect to see you both again, alive. The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles and Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Alexios. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough. And they struck when the time was right. About Phoebe. No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No, I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. <sighs> <sighs> 